I think if I hear you call me Becky one more time, six pack, I'm gonna pop your tops. All six of them. Who are you? Hey, this is Matt once again. Welcome back to another video. This is a paid request from Bros Zero. Thank you so much for that. For those interested in requesting any other type of videos or topics, reactions, reviews, re-reviews, or anything random, pretty much anything, feel free to send it either directly to my PayPal or join my Patreon. Both things are down below in the info box. I did not know what this film was. It was called In the Market. It's for free on YouTube, and I guess it's a 2009 Italian movie, but there were English subtitles. And I guess it's someone trying to rip off Hostel. I can't even say that. I mean, Hostel was mentioned, and I hate to say it, but Hostel was a better movie than this. <laughs> On a side note, the thing about Hostel, I actually liked the third act of Hostel, but they got ruined in the sequel, so even that got fucked up, anyway. This is a movie where you're wondering where the hell the movie is going, and then the movie kind of just stops and doesn't do much of shit. What do I mean by that? Your opening is in the supermarket. And the way it's filmed, it's filmed rather cheaply. Whether cheap film stock, or I don't know how you call it. Whether the camera they used, or the, the type of film they used. Digital. Just one of those cheap looking films, aesthetically speaking. And this woman is pushing her car in the supermarket. She's asking a worker. We don't see the worker's face, but we hear his voice. And... It's so strange the way they did this. The girl asks, Where can I find the sugar? Then you get scary music. Dun, dun, dun. Title in the market. And I'm sitting there, I'm going, I didn't know asking for a sugar would be that fucking scary. Because that's literally her line. Where can I find the sugar? Ba -ba -ba -da. In the market. I guess that answers her question. Why can't I find the shirter? Do, 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 in the market. It's like, what's gonna happen? Do, 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 do. Star Wars. Oh, shit. Asking for the shirter will be the scariest part of your life. I went, oh my god, what am I getting into? So, your three characters, they're going to a concert. I have no reason to give a flying fuck about these characters. Despite our time with them, there's really not much you get to know about them. Because the conversations deal with eggs. And how do you serve eggs? Hard-boiled, scrambled. And the thing is, what's playing on the radio is Little Green Bag 
from Reservoir Dogs. Da -na 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 -na, a little green bag. Uh, it just felt like a weird song choice. Until, as you're watching the film, the person who made this is obviously a fan of Tarantino, Robert Rodriguez, Eli Roth, which Tarantino produced some of his stuff and got Eli Roth to work on Death uh, Grindhouse. Because later on, someone worked at a gas station, he's watching Death Proof on TV. Um, well, Robert Rodriguez, I just guess he's, since he's in the Eli, Eli Roth, the characters talk about Hostel, and just someone's talking about the, the gore and Saving Private Ryan, and then someone mentions Hostel, and they go, yeah, but Saving Private Ryan is based on truth, and the other person goes, well, Hostel's based on truth. And I guess you kind of figure why Hostel's brought into the equation later on. There's a point where it's two guy, it's two girls and a guy. The guy says something, they leave him out, he's walking, they come back, pick him back up again, fuck. They get to a gas station, there's a fortune teller saying there's gonna be danger in the future. Then the gas station gets robbed by two guys. One's in a, I think, President Bush mask. And the other, I shit you not, has a mask of Minnie Mouse. Minnie Mouse mask. Well, I mean, Disney is evil nowadays. So I guess you'll have a robber wearing Minnie Mouse mask. I just, it just seemed random and silly. And I don't know if it was meant to be as a joke. It was meant to be humorous. I was supposed to laugh or just go, this is fucking stupid. And yeah, by this point, I'm wondering where the, where's this movie going? Maybe the director, since he's a fan of Tarantino, maybe he thought of From Dust Till Dawn. Like he's thinking it's going to be one movie. Then when you get like 50 minutes in, it becomes a different movie. Kind of like From Dust Till Dawn, you think it's a movie about these guys. And this crime story where they kidnap this family and then becomes a vampire movie. May or maybe like Hostel, because a good chunk of Hostel is these guys messing around, having fun, going from place to place, and then boom, one of their friends get taken, and it becomes more of a horror film. Whatever it is, there's still those are better movies than this. Yes, even Hostel, Hostel Two, piece of shit. So I would say Hostel Two is worse because the one aspect I liked of Hostel One, Hostel Two fucked up. Hey, this, this guy who survived, he dies in the first five minutes because, uh, for shock. Yeah, because that's never been done before in a sequel. But anyway. So yeah, these guys rob this, the place, the gas station. Then the three, they're a bit freaked out, but they still have the tickets to the concert. They randomly stop at this market. And then they decide, you know what, let's hide in the bathroom and then when people leave, we'll, they'll lock up. We'll still be in here. I guess there's no security in the store, but... Then there's this point that... I can only assume shit. There's this old lady who's a janitor. She's looking around. She's ready to open the door. She freezes. Has this look on her face. And leaves. I'm like, what the fuck is that about? But I'll, I'll get to that in a minute. So then the three, hey, we, we had the mark, supermarket all to ourselves. They steal shit. They steal food. They tell scary stories. They hear something. I mean, this is like 50 minutes to film. And the movie's an hour and a half. They wander to the freezer and they see a dead body cut up to pieces and then the killer walks in but he, he's got his head down and our three leads are so smart they decide to still stare the, I'm like the guy hasn't noticed you he hasn't noticed you not even one of you to someone to go well maybe they're frozen in fear and terror all three of them are to be like Fuck. no they're all just and the guy's like, oh, I didn't know there were 
more of you. And then our three geniuses run. Smart as a fucking tack. They're sharp as a tack. No, a tack can be actual fucking sharp. Unlike these. Fucking numbskulls, imbeciles. Imbeciles. So they they split up also instantaneously split up. Again, smart. They're running around, the guy grabs all three of them, and then like the next 30, 35 minutes is a long torture scene. Where this bad guy just won't shut the fuck up. He keeps talking and 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 talking. Talking about cannibalism. Talking about the first thing is you and me. The second thing is your eyes. The third is a thought. The fourth is the coming night. The fifth is mutilated bodies. The sixth is hunger. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about, buddy. I don't give a shit what you're talking about. Shut the fuck up. While the one of our three leads, are he's tied to a chair. One girl is put in the back in a freezer for later, and one's tied down with duct tape in her mouth. And he's just talking and talking. This guy's talking for like 10 fucking minutes about this, this shit and cannibalism. And then he takes a piece of the, the girl on the table's leg, tries to make him eat, the, the guy tied up eat it. I like eating. I like eating you. I like saying what I like to other people. Shut up. I don't like what you have to say to anybody. Even if you're talking to yourself. It just becomes such a long windbag at speech after speech that really gets to no fucking plight or interest or pathos. Just someone rambling. So he kills the girl, takes a bolt to her head. The guy tries to get to a weapon, but the sh the chair literally breaks from under him. So the, the the killer grabs the guy's hand, puts it in a meat grinder, hangs the guy, puts a paper bag on his head, cuts him up, and pulls his intestines out. And then the third girl. She gets out, she's crawling through a tunnel, she runs, she gets to a car, she drives, but apparently she imagined that whole fucking thing, cause she wakes up, the killer goes after her, cuts away, and it's the next day and the killer's selling meat. And you can guess what that meat is. And it's more talking as dialogue that he said earlier to the guy tied up. And that's the end. Of in the market. I sit here and I go. This was a waste of fucking time. I mean it wasn't. It was a paid request. But I'm just saying. With the movie. You have no reason to care about these characters. There's no reason to give a shit about them. There's not much development of them. You don't really know much about them. The acting is. not Nothing to run home about. The only thing of interest is. Oh, they reference Hostel. Guys watching Death Proof. That's all that you can think of. The first 50 minutes. Oh, two robbers that wear a Minnie Mouse mask. Whether it's meant to be funny or ironic or humor. Whatever the hell, I don't know. The look of the film is cheap. The pacing is boring. Gore-wise, kind of cheap looking gore. Now maybe that's because of the... The way the film looks, where at times it looks completely white, whiter than it is here on this webcam. Or if it's something, I just... He grabs the three and just talks and talks and talks and talks and talks. There's a little bit of thing here. Talks, talks, pulls some intestines out, talks, talks. You see a girl imagining her steep. I, hell, I fucking saw that in The Descent. 
I'm on many, many other films. So even that's nothing new to run home about. The descent where the girl, you're st she's escaping. Then she wakes up, she's still back in the cave. Well, depending on which cut of the descent you watch, to be honest, because there's... The American ending has a different ending. Which then led to the descent part two. Th this movie was such a pile of nothing. It wasn't scary. Unless you think someone asked you for sure to is scary. Because the movie thought it was. I, I, what can I find the shooter? Du, 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 in the market. It, it does nothing new, different, creative, scary, suspenseful, funny. I, I, again, even the way it looks is ugly. The score is lame. Completely forgettable. The acting subpar at best. And the villain is a rambler. He likes to ramble, 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 ramble. And if you're a gore hound, not much gore either, except take a little piece out of the leg. Body, here's some intestines. That, that That's really all you get for gore. <laughs> oh, when the guy, the meat grinder, when it pulls out, you see a little bit of hand shredded. That's it for gore. This was a waste. <sighs> I'm sure most people don't know what the fuck this movie is. For good reason. <laughs> so with I don't know what else to say. Thanks for watching. Take care. Later.